So digestive problems are some of the most common issues that people see clinically in the field of medicine today. And one of the best-selling drugs of all time are the class of drugs related to treating acid reflux. So I thought I'd shoot this video on how to actually approach the lifestyle modifications related to acid reflux from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. Now, before we jump into this video today, the first link below is I put together this case study of a supposed 256-year-old man named Li Qingyun. Now, in that PDF, you're going to learn his four quote secrets to a long and healthy life. Really interesting based on his interview in Time Magazine in the early 1900s. It's the first link in the description below. So I want to introduce the two main kinds of reflux that I've seen clinically. The two big pictures, and we're going to make them super stereotypical, right? You have, let's call it the hot excess type of indigestion or reflux and the cold deficient type of reflux or indigestion. Now the hot excess type, let's just paint the picture of the fat, sweaty American dude who's a businessman. He eats out all the time. He's always drinking a couple glasses of wine with his business lunches or dinners. Maybe he even smokes to make it even worse and more stereotypical. And he's prone to feeling hot, looking like he has a red face, sweats easily. Now this kind of person historically generally tends to have good digestion. They tend to not be prone to reflux or feeling food in their intestines, digesting at all. Bowel movements tend to be okay, generally. Good, robust kind of constitution, good digestion. The other cliche, let's make it as stereotypical as possible, clinically as I've seen it, thin, more on the pale side, female, prone to low appetite, prone to maybe even more weight loss, or maybe even anxiety, one could say, prone to easily missing bowel movements, easily having skipped days of constipation or food allergies, food intolerances, regularly is touching their stomach, feels just, you feel food in your stomach, there's more discomfort, okay? These are the two archetypes that I see the most often. So let's talk about the cold deficient type. So there's three general characteristics that can really help without Chinese formulas and without acupuncture. So in terms of lifestyle, here are three big things that can help. So if the cold deficient type, number one is they tend to have low stomach acid. So having smaller, more regular meals rather than intermittent fasting or rather than doing one to two large meals is almost always more beneficial for them. The second thing is they tend to run cold and or have food allergies. So for this type, digestion is improved with warmth and warm foods. Meat, ginger, cardamom, etc. So consuming things that are warming. And I would highly recommend avoiding being vegan with this constitutional type, we could say. And these people tend to be sensitive to coffee in general and tend to do better without stimulants. They often, but not always, have an upper kind of personality. So, or a constitution, whatever you want to call it. So they tend to be more sensitive in general. And the last thing is because they may have food sensitivities or food allergies and they need warming foods, they tend to do better with things like meat, rice, and vegetables and may have issues with wheat and sometimes dairy, depending on other factors in their diet. Now the hot excess type, let's go to this one really quick because this type is someone who's historically usually has good digestion. This is usually considered due to problems of excess, meaning overeating, especially eating the wrong food types. While the other type is usually a person who has more sensitive digestion in general to everything. So with this type, the first thing is they're more likely to get indigestion or reflux due to, quote, excess eating and warming things. So these people tend to have a strong appetite, which can lead to overeating more readily. Now, for them, overeating tends to be a big problem, as well as eating spicy or warm foods, which can create too much heat, which can lead to reflux, burning, burping, insomnia, bad breath, uh, bad smelling stools, that kind of thing. And again, what's key for this constitutional type because they have good digestion, typically, they're prone to just eating too much in general and can often just gain weight uh, without realizing it. So the second thing is they're better off with a cooler diet. So a cooler diet here tends to mean more vegetables, less alcohol especially, and then not cigarettes or smoking, and less coffee, more grains, less red meat. But especially for this constitutional type, being careful about not overeating. This type is really one of the few types I'd recommend going more towards the vegetarian, more towards the vegan side, because they can usually tolerate it better, much, much better than the other type, the cold type, which 
it often is extremely damaging for that kind of person. Now, the third thing for this type, they often need to be more conscious about diet and exercise. Because again, good, typically good constitution, good digestion means it's easy to overeat because if you digest fine and you have bowel movements fine, it's easy to just keep eating. Whereas the other type tends to have low appetite, tends to get bloated easily, tends to feel uncomfortable. Their stomach and intestines bother them a lot, but they tend to lose weight often too. So with this type, often need to be more cognizant and aware of just diet and exercise because the weight can creep up more easily because they've been gifted on the other side, gifted with good digestion typically. So those are really the two big buckets, very general stereotypes that I see clinically for digestive problems related to acid reflux, the stomach specifically. So I hope that helps. Those are general lifestyle modifications, but I found again with that Chinese herbs to be the most effective thing for these. Before you go, Check out that little case study below on Li Ching Yun's Four Keys to a Long, Healthy Life. And then before you go again, check out these two related videos right here.